Good morning. Hello. No, but seriously, it is Thursday morning. I promised uh, my fan page, the Alex Jordan fan page on Facebook, a video since last weekend. So my bad. Uh, I've come on with a no, but seriously, because the world has gone mad, as we all know. I keep remembering, like, uh, I met the former Barbadian Prime Minister, Owen Arthur, uh, in my early 20s, ran into him in London. Uh, and we were talking, he was asking me what I was doing at the time, I was telling him my thoughts on the world. And ultimately, he, he says, oh, young socialist. And he says, um, you know what they say, if you're not a socialist when you're young, you're heartless. And if you're still a socialist when you're old, you're brainless. And, um, you know, over the years, I've really thought on that a lot, Every, uh, that he said that, because I'm like, well, either I'm still young or I'm brainless. Um, <laughs> but I think it's true in another construction. I think it's true in terms of feminism. Sorry, that was my cat. <laughs> Strange. Um, I feel like if you're not a feminist when you're young, it's because you don't know. And if you're not a feminist when you're older, it's because you don't know. And I'm speaking to both men and women. Bruce Jenner's transition to Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn, not that spelling, is also my first name. Caitlyn Alexandra Jordan. <laughs> uh, yeah, just a little known fact there. I mean, the whole issue is such an interesting time to be alive, right? Because it raises so many questions about sexuality. Like, what's the difference, for example, uh, I don't know, between a transsexual person and a transgender person? Uh, if someone could clear that up for me, I'd be uh, very grateful. But um, it really does open up the Pandora's box on, like, sexuality. Uh, is it your toolkit? Like, you know, if you get the sexual organs, is that who you are or what you are? Or is it how you identify? How, is it a feeling? I mean, who knows? But my real no, but seriously, is poor, poor, poor Barbados. My sweet 246. Right? They must feel like they're going through purgatory right now here in Barbados. Right? We got these seaweed invading. We have corruption taking root. And while Barbados struggles to come to any grips with gay rights, which the world dealt with 20 years ago, the world has moved on, my friends. Um, and we're talking transgender and transsexuality, and the world is hailing Caitlyn Jenner a hero. Honestly, I feel like they got people across this island just in their bedroom shaking their head, holding on to the Bible, wondering what happened in the world. It makes me kind of laugh. Ultimately, though, I think that the big no, but seriously, in this situation, the elephant ultimately in the room, is women. John Stewart makes the point, right? The moment Bruce Jenner <laughs> becomes Caitlyn Jenner, forget that the man was a decathlete and all the, you know, has all these other accolades in life. It is how hot is he? Yeah, but he's hotter than Chris Jenner. Is he as hot as Kim? Is he fuckable? Like literally, the conversation went, went straight there. And he went on to make the point that at 65 years old, doesn't have much more relevance, you know? Women get irrelevant apparently after, I don't know, some young age. Uh, and it has me cruel and feeling extremely feminist this morning. And then on top of that, I saw this article on Tom Cruise's next movie. He's 53. And the woman starring opposite him is 31. <laughs> and like barely right, you know? 31, I don't know, a bit old. And then furthermore, those two young Jenners, this is the last thing I'm going to say, the two girls, they were asked their biggest fear, you can't help but run into media of them. And their biggest fear is aging. At 17 and 19, what are we telling the world? What are we telling our women? Anyway, next installment, FIFA, Jack Warner, and what it means to Barbados. Over and out. <laughs>